Well, hey everyone, how's it going? So, one question I get from time to time, not too often, but occasionally I get, is if you can directly connect a solar panel to an inverter. It doesn't necessarily have to be a power jack inverter, it could be any inverter. And really, yes, you can technically speaking, but the problem is, is that if you ever get a dip in voltage, um, let's say a cloud or whatnot, then you are going to be lowering the voltage to the point where the inverter is likely going to shut down. Also, if there's a considerable load on that system, there's no capacity there to draw into to be able to sustain. So if you got a 100 watt solar panel and you draw 100 watts from it, and everything is 100% efficient, then you're going to um, be right on the nose. But if you draw 101 watts, it's not enough. The inverter is likely going to shut down because it's too much. That's why I use batteries. It's super important. But still, there's people out there who are trying to go cheap, just want to buy one solar panel, one inverter, directly connect it to the inverter, and whatever. Well, I can tell you there's going to be some problems with that. Number one... Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this inverter on. This is a 5,000 watt inverter, 24 volts. So right from the get-go, right off the bat, you're drawing, without the fan on, you're drawing 0.7 amps. So let's just say about 10 watts or so. Um, so right there, there's 10% of your 100 watt solar panel. Now we'll go ahead and turn on the fan. Nah, it's a little bit of a jump there, not too much. The fan is only a 5 watt fan. So now you're, you know, up to what, 15 watts, 85 watts left in your single 100 watt solar panel. And let's say that you put a draw on it and voltage starts to fall. Let's say there's a cloud or something. Voltage is coming down, coming down. Well, the inverter can handle so much. And then at, of course, you get an alarm at about 20 volts, and then it shuts down. So, right there, the inverter isn't able to handle that. We'll go ahead and bring it back up to 24 volts. Has to be reset because it shut down due to failure. Inverter's back on. Now, let's say that you don't have any load on it at all except for the inverter itself. Your voltage, because a typical 12 volt solar panel will put out, or excuse me, yeah, typical 12 volt solar panel will put out closer to about 20 volts. So if you have two panels in this example, it would actually be closer to 40 volts. So let's say you have absolutely no load on the inverter at all and you start to approach 40 volts. Well, guess what's going to happen? We're at 34 volts now. The inverter is complaining about high voltage. Let's go up to... And the inverter just shut down because of over voltage. So, and this is not... You cannot recover from this. You come all the way back down to... Let's say 26 volts. The inverter stays in alarm mode, so it's not like it's going to pick itself back up. So if you're away from the inverter and you don't hear this, that's going to be your problem. So in other words, it's basically recommended that you always hook this up to a battery bank. I'm really not sure why some people would want to hook these up directly to solar panels. Um, I have done tests before where I've had just my solar panels hooked up to an inverter just for shits and giggles basically and it does work because you have voltage you have amperage and that's what you need but the purpose of a battery is to be able to supply voltage and amperage to supply energy in the event that your panels are not able to supply that so it dips into the capacity of the battery bank that's the whole point so, yeah, hopefully that answers those few questions. It can be done, but it's kind of pointless. And, uh, you know, if the inverter had a way to reset itself, maybe that would work. But again, 
a big draw, something there that's going to be over what the panels are putting out would immediately shut down the inverter because there's nothing there for it to draw. The inverter asks for X amount of watts. The solar panels give X amount of watts. If it's not enough, then the inverter is going to shut down. So anyway, yeah, kind of an odd question, but uh, I do get some weird questions from time to time. So hopefully that answers that for those who are curious. Take care.